Patrick. Yes. Last time we were talking about uh, the most powerful man in reality television. Now let's talk about one of Ryan the most Seacrest. popular shows on reality television. Yes. It's gotta be Jersey Shore. Oh yeah, easily. Now, um... By the way, before we continue, uh, how are uh, Spencer and Heidi doing with their fame right now? <laughs> You you know what I heard uh, I I heard that somebody had s somebody saw Heidi and um, one of those New Jersey housewives and some other reality show you know reject all filming something in L A trying to restart their their careers. It was called uh, it, it was called uh, Annie's Dumpster Divers. <laughs> it was called Prawn Stars. It's just it called, you gonna eat that? Yeah, it's good. It was called you gonna finish eating that? <laughs> oh, well, God. but. Jersey Shore, of course, they yeah. don't have those problems, not yet, anyhow, yeah. they're all... They're going to stay on top forever. They're crazy well paid, and yeah. about to get better paid, because um, they're asking for more money, again. Well, wouldn't you? Well, you know, okay. You you sure. say something, and then I'll tell you why I think they should ask all right. for more. Okay, you go. first of all, um, I, I, okay, you know what, I just saw your point, and I'm, I was about to agree with you, but for, I'll, I'll take the opposing view. Um, they renegotiated last season. Yep. When they started off, they were making kind of next to no money. Five grand in that episode. Yeah, now they got, a, they got a big bump after that. Now it's the third season. But in the meantime, they've all parlayed their, their fame into right. these crazy businesses where they're all making like, you know, millions, millions and millions yeah. a year on this nonsense. Snooki's writing books. The situation's got a workout tape. I mean, it's just, it's nuts. So they're making so much money off of the notoriety of the show, you'd figure they'd say, yeah, it's, that's enough already. Well, the thing is, they're smart because they yes. know they have to cash in. And that's right. It could end overnight. Like, tomorrow somebody else could come along. No, we're not that lucky. Yeah, somebody could come and replace them. When yeah. they first started, the first season, they were getting five grand an episode. Right. And then their appearance fees were like 2000 and a 1000 yeah. And... Then all of a sudden, their appearance fees bumped up to five, and they were like, "Wait a minute! Mm -hmm. People are paying us five grand to just do an appearance for an hour to yeah. sign." They're like, "We should be getting paid more per episode than our appearance fee." So then they bumped it up to what was it, twenty five thousand or something oh, like that? It was yeah, more. Quite a little bit more. It was like twenty five yeah. or thirty five thousand, mm -hmm. and MTV said we're going to replace you with a new cast, and yes. then MTV was like, "What are we insane?" So then they bumped it up to thirty five thousand or, or around there. I may be mistaken, but. But Snooki's latest appearance mm -hmm. at that at a university thirty two thousand dollars. Yeah, she got paid two thousand dollars more than a Nobel Prize winning laureate. So, Author Tony Morrison. Yeah. yeah. So so Snooki, her appearance fee is now between thirty and thirty five thousand, mm -hmm. and it, the situation is the same yep. way. I, I think Pauly D is the one and J Wow. You can get them on the cheap for like yeah. 10 or fifteen grand. Right. But the thing is. You should make more per episode, mm -hmm. or equivalent to what you would make for just doing a one-hour well, appearance. And, and, I, and here's another reason why That's, I, I'm, I'm gonna, just saying, as a business person, if I were them, I'd be like, "Well, why would I?" Here's another reason work I don't less? agree with you because that show is just getting more popular. Yes, the uh, ratings keep going right. up. Right, season two finished about what was it, 30, 35 percent higher than the previous season. Yeah. It is, I think, the highest-rated show on basic cable. Um, definitely. I'm sorry. It's I'm just so bored with myself. <laughs> it's Snooki. Number one show on MTV. And they're waiting for them to get to Italy to, to film the next season, which is going to be in Italy. That's going to be a lunacy. And, and, but they can't work out these contracts yet, so everything's getting pushed yeah. back. Do you think that the people in Italy are really going to tolerate this garbage? Oh, I hear they're already people? pissed off because they, um, they they think that the image they're portraying oh, of Italian-Americans is negative. Yeah. It's a stereotype. It's... Uh, uh, it's, it's and, and the thing that's even more hilarious is when people say they're not all like that. I'm like, uh, there are bars in the Vancouver boroughs, we won't say where, that if you walk in there, you think they're filming an episode of Jersey Shore. <laughs> like, you just look at these people and you're like, that is ridiculous. You actually walk around like that. Like, you come to a nightclub and you think that's what you're supposed to look like. Now, like, you think that makes you look good. One of the things about Italy is it, Italy is notorious for um, for the men. When 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 a woman's yeah. walking down the street, they'll pinch a woman's bottom and they'll go, oh, ah, you know, yeah, that yeah, whole thing. Yeah. How do you think that's going to fly with uh, with with the Jersey girls? Uh, I'm pretty sure Snooki will do some punching and stuff like that, but or it'll go the other way where they're just like, they think I'm beautiful. <laughs> Snooki looks like a fire hydrant if it came to life and then it just went on a 
Snooki is the t looks like the type of girl who binges but forgets to purge. That's what she looks Ooh. like. And I only bring that up because I just want to mention that Snooki. You know how you know how when girls uh, in Hollywood they fade out of the spotlight, mm -hmm. or they they need attention but they they don't want to do the sex tape. They don't want to do the sexy like. Or they don't want to do the, oh my gosh, I forgot I wasn't wearing panties getting out of the car thing. <laughs> Whoops! Where they do the nipple slip thing and, uh, and, you know, all that stuff, which is, we've now discovered. We now my found sex out, tape accidentally yeah. leaked on. I, I know, now we know it's all set up, right? We all know it's set up. Uh, but uh, now the thing that girls do is they say, oh, I had an eating disorder. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's you're just like, oh, why is this coming out now and not when you were famous or why it is, like, now? And Snooki, how she had the big thing, how she said, well, when I was in. Uh, college, I had an eating disorder, and I had to eat this and this, and it was terrible. And then they showed the pictures of her when she claims she was anorexic, uh, and she looks like an average weight girl. There's like no ribs uh, showing or anything, it's just an average looking girl. And I just find it hilarious that only Snooki would say, when you're eating what you're supposed to eat, like an average amount of calories, only Snooki would just be like, I was anorexic, 1800 calories, who can live on that per day? I only had one burger per day. Oh, oh. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, I know it's a bit of a tangent, but when somebody like Snooki claims she was mm -hmm. anorexic and she wasn't, I'm sure it affects Still, other girls and makes them upset. I'm, now do you actually watch the show? I watch, uh, I don't watch it na uh, anymore. I used to watch it. Now I just watch, uh, like the clips online. Uh, Cause honestly, I'll tell you, Patrick, I tried. I really did try to watch it. Right. I would sit down episodes, PVR. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. About five minutes in, I'm just. Well, this second season isn't quite as good as the first season because they're forced to live in the house because of their fame, right? But it's so stupid and it's so boring. I mean, what is the appeal? I don't get it. Well, am I too old? Am maybe, I just I don't know touch if, I, with I, I, what I the mean, kids when, are today? And here's the thing: when I was in university, I was one of those guys, right? And I, we all hung out, and we knew, like, and when I was in high school, I was, you know, I was the d bag. We were those guys, like, we all hung out, and we were pack of morons like you know it was a murder of morons if you will uh but we were like we were those idiots and and we went out we went clubbing and we knew those girls and you know and it you know and i i guess i can identify with it and you know i do a lot of shows and bars and i see those guys and i see those girls and you know a lot of them tend to be my fans so i can't discount them in any way uh but I will say this, in the case of somebody like uh, Snooki, I understand she's playing a character. Right. I get it. Wow, I know that girl, you know, I get it, I understand. Somebody like Pauly D, like all those mm -hmm. guys, like, you know, I know those guys, they're okay guys. But somebody like The Situation. Who says he wants to be an actor, by the yeah, way. Well, That's his... Anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but somebody like The Situation, he used to be the lovable douchebag, uh -huh. but now it's being discovered he's just a douchebag. Uh -huh. And... There is that guy in the group. A subtle and, distinction. Yeah, well, yeah, distinction there is that guy in the group, and you would chat with uh -huh. him, and it'd be okay. But then as time would go on, you'd just be like, uh, and eventually you don't hang out with him, because uh -huh. you're like, every time we're with you, there's a situation. <laughs> every time we're with you, problems happen, and just, we're tired of Which? always... We're tired of always getting into a fight because you're a douche. But to be fair, Patrick, that's exactly the kind of guy you want on a reality show. Yeah. You want fights breaking out. You but want he, him to be stirring the pot and making things happen. But eventually it just gets boring. It becomes like so it, it, it's so regular that you're mm -hmm. just like whatever. Like it just, you know, you're just like who cares? Does anybody want to see this anymore? People just Not get me. Bored. I don't know people Not get me. bored. Not me. I'm it. done. I'm looking forward to when they're in Italy just because it's going to be so different and I'm looking forward to how the Italian people react to the Jersey Shore people. I'm looking forward to about four or five years from now when they're on Sober House and it's a Jersey Shore edition and Dr. Drew is, uh, uh, Snooki, let's talk about your uh, addiction to it. I'm looking birds. forward to when Snooki is on Dancing with the Stars and everybody says, uh, we apologize to Kirstie Alley for saying she was heavy. Ouch. Snooki, I don't see, I don't see her slimming down in any way. I'm just saying. That's. I think that's a nice way to end this. Uh, and I by nice, I mean not nice. I'm not one to make fun of uh, people and their weight. I understand some people. Unless it's a they're problem. little orange. But when Oompa you're. When, but yeah, but when you're Snooky and you're literally. Anything goes. And you're literally holding two milkshake cups in your hand and you're drinking out of both straws.
you bring it on yourself is what I'm saying. That's an image that's going to be tough to get out of my mind. Anyhow, that's it for another installment of the podcast. I'm Brent Furtick. This is I'm Patrick Maliha. The lovable douche. We are the lovable, lovable douche Patrick Maliha. See you next time.